salvation! No donation, no salvation! And remember, respect is everything. <sighs> Thank you. That, 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 that's all I'm going to start with. <laughs> yeah, this is, uh... Hmm. Where, where, I'm lost for words right now. I did not think, you know, we would get this far. Um... <laughs> Like I said, this this kind of milestone really isn't anything, you know, big to, like, people who are actual YouTubers and stuff, but considering I'm a person with hardly anything in their life, I, I have to express my gratitude. It's crazy how this channel started with very little, and then here I am years later at 500 subs, you know, a lot to look back on. And it's, it's, it's a great thing. Anyway, we're going to look at something that's very true to me and is, for lack of better words, my own. This is the Matador. <laughs> yes, the face of the channel. The mascot. So yeah, I made this character a long, long time ago. I mean, this character's been around since pretty much the beginning of the channel. Um... <laughs> So yeah, this is pretty much my own kind of original character. He is based on my actual real-life car. And I've always held that car with very high regards. I still have the car. I still make videos on it. Um, you know, I'm going to try to make that car last as long as possible because that was my first car. And I still appreciate it to this day. I'll be honest, if it wasn't for that car, I probably wouldn't have never had the real confidence to start a channel when I finally got back into Transformers that kind of brought me out of a dark pit in my life that unfortunately ended up just grow grew deeper and deeper and even darker but I like to see this as my occasional um, escape into the light anyway here he is in his car mode which is based on my station wagon so yeah, there, there's really not much to say. Um, granted, he has one more exhaust pipe than my car actually has, but that's just for stability reasons. That's not because... Uh, I mean, the Matador has always been kind of a character to me, and with good reason. It was a car that has, in my eyes, a lot of characters. Kind of the ugly duckling of the land yachts, especially mine, since it's the station wagon. Anyway, let's not waste any more time. Let's get to the transformation of our boy here. <laughs> We are going to start with lifting the windshield. Next, we will fold the hood back. Uh, it's on a ball joint, so naturally it'll rotate, which helps with the articulation. Then we'll pull the arms back, rotate them around. Then we'll rotate his arms out, rotate forward. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and push his feet down since they're supposed to be flat. And then we'll just uh, spread the legs, which Never really want to cooperate with me, but you know what, neither does he. Or my real life car. Neither one of them likes to cooperate half the time. But you know what, that's the charm. And there he is in his robot mode. The robot mode that's been stalking me for god knows how long. But yeah, this this is um, a very important character to both me and my fiction because uh, he does actually appear in my story. A character with no real origin in Transformers, completely my own makes an appearance in one of my pieces of fiction um, and I always felt you know he had a lot of importance he's not really a villain even though I kind of portray him as a villain because of the name of the car he's named after which is an AMC Matador because in Spanish Matador means killer which I always thought was hilarious um, just because you know, it's, it's a family oriented vehicle but it's literally called killer i mean i just i think that's hilarious the idea was to make him a triple changer at one point but um based on the uh the fiction that i've portrayed him in so far at least in the stop motion films and all the other stuff that i've done he kind of lost that ability um but again he was basically one of shockwave's experiments and you know this was just kind of the result of it he was a trip he turned into a triple changer 
and would turn into a, a literal raging bull and go after everything. <laughs> But in reality, he really didn't want anything to do with the war. He just wanted to be his own. Regardless, he is a soldier who takes nothing from anyone. For his accessories, we do have his rifle, which I made an appearance in one of my stop motion films. That just plugs in right there. Even though um, in the current fiction, he doesn't have this ability anymore, I still have his bullhead. Um, now, to get him into bull mode, basically, here, let's ditch the gun. Let's see here, where do we start? Well, first, we've got to rotate the legs back. After that, bend his knees. They're not really backwards, because they're technically forward, just his waist is backwards. And then after that, fold his arms forward, and we will plug the bull head in. Fold that down. So yeah, it's it was just kind of an afterthought when I originally built it, but it can still be done. It's just uh, kind of a mess, but the the whole bull horns thing is more of a it's kind of my take on cliff jumper because um, the way I see it, you know, and it's more of a life lesson to me personally. When you mess with the bull, you get the horns, and that is a lesson that a lot of people take for granted because life is too short. And there's too many things to do, and just not enough time. You know, aside from being based off my first car, I mean, he also holds a, a lot of other in significance and importance, mostly due to the fact that he's kind of modeled after myself in a way. Since, you know, in in my story, in, in the fiction that he appears in, he basically, um, he's kind of a loner. He doesn't really know how to have friends or how to really interact with others or really just have anything um he, he just kind of came from a rough background where he just didn't really know what to do with himself and you know when he got dragged into something he didn't want to be a part in he just learned to live with it and really just try to take a stance and take control over his own life because at the end of the day transformer characters you know they are living creatures in their universe they're just metal but they are technically organic to a degree of course like I said, I want to thank everybody who's subscribed for any of the content I produce. Um, I'll be honest, if it wasn't for that car or even this channel, especially this channel, and the, the Facebook group that I'm a part of um, at this time, all this probably would have never happened. And I'll be honest, it got me out of a dark place in my life because I'll be honest, the last um, two years have been very rough. I won't go into details, but... I've experienced a lot of tragedy, and this channel's been a very good escape for me when I have the motivation to work on it, and I can't express that enough, and I really thank everyone for being a part of it. And I know I said I would never do this, but because we've managed to make it this far, I don't know when I'm going to do it, but I've decided I'm going to select a few guinea pigs to participate in sort of a deconstruction slash uh, sort of um, tutorial on how I build my figures. I'm not going to show you exactly how to build every single one of them, but I'll give you the general idea of how exactly these figures are made and what goes into the general template and what make these figures what they are. Again, engineering wise, they're very basic, but they're something that I made, and that's something that holds very true to me, and anything I make is just that much more special to me, and there's just some things in life that are just worth savoring. Anyway, that's all I got. I'm probably going to upload this tomorrow or sometime later tonight. Um, I'll probably upload this tomorrow, actually, because tomorrow is my birthday, because uh, on the 27th, that's when I was born. And uh, that's, I want to dedicate as much of that time to close family and friends as much as possible. So 
Um, this will probably be the video for today and tomorrow. Um, but like I said, I've rambled on long enough. You all have a good one. And I really mean that. <laughs>